I've met up with SAS at many conferences around the world, this time at the European Congress of Psychology in Stockholm, Sweden. As an international psychologist who has spoken all over the world, SAS has been honored for having changed the face of the field. I'm the eldest uh, son. I play and influenced by my parents, uh, a, a big brother role, because they always uh, instilled in me um, that you, you know, if anything happened, what did you do to prevent that happening? Because you're the older guy. I did end up playing uh, some kind of leadership role, uh, perhaps because I pushed boundaries. We were in a discussion about the creation of the South African Students' Organization which he was spearheading. And that's how I got to know Steve Biko. When I got expelled from university, uh, I was expelled in June 1969. In July, the South African Students' Organization was being launched in 1972, um, and I was the key organizer with Steve Biko, bringing the university to a standstill. I was arrested in January 73, and then in February, I was uh, served with a banning order. We knew that on the 25th of September 1974, Frelimo would officially take over in Mozambique. So we organized Viva Frelimo rallies. I was key in organizing that, and the government tried to ban those. And there was a standoff with government, and rallies were held, and uh, interaction with the military. And so that resulted in my imprisonment, uh, arrested in, on, uh, on the 25th of September, right, and the trial lasting uh, two years. In the film Cry Freedom, that David Attenborough uh, produced with Denzel Washington in the lead, playing Steve Biko, where Steve Biko holds forth in the courtroom. I was the first accused. I was the first of nine accused. And uh, I served a sentence on Robben Island and only got released uh, in December 1982. I met Nelson Mandela when I went to Robben Island and then spent at least five years in the same cell block with him. I learned uh, the value of uh, patience, that uh, certain things can be done if you are patient about it, rather than want to change now or yesterday, that things will happen if you plan and execute them properly. The definition of black is one that negates any uh, negative, pejorative, diminutive connotations of a person or groups of people. So if you take the term non-white, if you remove white from it, you're left with a non. And I don't think the majority of the people of, on this globe are nons, non-entities, negatives of anybody else. And nobody should be looked at as an appendage of anything else. In many ways, psychology's last frontier is in Africa because it's developed in certain places and almost non-existent in large tracts of Africa. For instance, we have uh, embarked on creating a Pan-African Psychology Union. Uh, the idea is to play a helping professional role. The vision, if anything, is to up the ante for psychology to make sure that the flag of psychology flies high. The pride that psychology deserves is given to it.